Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write numbers in expanded form, and specifically numbers that go into the millions. Now, when we write a number in expanded form, we show the value of each digit. Expanded form really helps our overall number sense and understanding of numbers. So let's jump into number one, where we have 3,045,000. So we want to start with the greatest valued digit, so the digit furthest to the left. In the case of number one, it's going to be this three right here. So the value of that three is going to be three million because it's sitting in the millions place. So let's write out three million. And then we will work our way to the right throughout the rest of the number. Next, we have the hundred thousands place. And we have a zero in that place. So we don't have any value to represent within our expanded form. That's a placeholder zero. So let's move to the right again and we have a four in the 10 thousands place. So the value of that four is going to be 40,000. So let's write out 40,000. And again, the value of that four is 40,000 because it's sitting in the 10 thousands place. Plus, let's move to the right. We have a five in the thousands place. So the value of that five is 5,000. Then we have a zero in the hundreds, a zero in the tens, and a zero in the ones. So to recap here, we showed the value of the three, which was three million. The value of the four was 40,000. And the value of the five was 5,000. On to number two, where we have 5,903,006. So we'll start with the greatest valued digit the digit furthest to the left, which is this five. The value of that five is five million. And the value of that five is five million because it's sitting in the millions place. So let's make our way to the right here uh, throughout the rest of the number. Next, we have a nine in the hundred thousands place. So that nine has a value of 900 thousand. Next, we have a zero in the 10 thousands place, which we don't have a value to represent. So we'll move to the right again. And we have a three. Now that three is in the thousands place. So it has a value of 3000. We have a zero in the hundreds and a zero in the tens. So we can go all the way over to the ones place where we have a six. That six, again, is in the ones place, so it has a value of six. So to recap, the five had a value of five million, the nine had a value of 900,000, the three had a value of 3,000, and the six had a value of six. On to number three, where we have 9,009,623. So we'll start with this nine right here, which has a value of nine million because it's in the millions place. So nine million. Plus zero in the hundred thousands, zero in the ten thousands, and a nine in the thousands. So that nine has a value of 9,000 because it's in the thousands place. Plus a six in the hundreds. So that six has a value of 600. Plus this two is in the tens place. So that two has a value of 20. And lastly, the ones place where we have a three with a value of three. And lastly, number four, we have 74,080,900. So we'll start with this seven here that's in the 10 millions place. So the value of that seven is 70 million.
Next, we have a four in the millions place, so that four has a value of four million. Plus, we have a zero in the hundred thousands. Next, we have an eight in the ten thousands, so that has a value of 80,000. Plus, a zero in the thousands. Then we have a nine in the hundreds, so that has a value of 900. And then a zero in the tens and zero in the ones. So we are done with number four. So there you have it. There's how you put numbers in expanded form and specifically numbers that go into the millions. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.